Well, what's up guys? Welcome back to our 06 Electric Glide uh, classic build. Um, you saw in the last video everything that was tore up. Uh, we got a little bit done off camera, but I'll go ahead and walk you through that. Um, but real quick, we're going to go ahead and cover some of the most asked questions because we've been getting a bunch of these here recently. So A lot of the questions that we get, or one of the main ones, is where do we get all of our bikes from? Most of them come from IAA, which is Insurance Auto Auction. Um, it's we have our dealer's license but if you were to want to try to get a um, harley or a motorcycle anything from a, an auction then the best thing to do is to try to look up the auctions like in your local area a lot of times they will actually allow the public to come in and bid so that is something to check out or you can get go through a broker too i think they charge a yeah. pretty hefty fee but uh, once again same thing and then the other question we get is just pricing, you know, how much we pay for the motorcycle, the fees um, for the auction, transport, all of that stuff. So he will go ahead and kind of let you know what this bike is. On this one, I think I won the bid. It was like $2,300 and then there's about four or $500 in fees. And I want to say I paid three or $400 to get it here. I think so far without buying anything, I'm in it for like $3,600 shipped to the door. Mm -hmm. So. And then a lot of times, if there's any parts on the bikes that um, you know he can take off and salvage and resell, we'll kind of do that to offset the price also. Mm -hmm. I try to keep it under, I like to deal with the older, like 99 to 08 style twin cam uh, baggers. And I try to be under four grand before they get here is what I like to be at. You want to go ahead and um, walk through real quick? Yeah, show them what all we've done. Sure. So we got all of our bent saddlebag support bars off um, and I had to straighten out that tab a little bit. Easy fix. Got those new ones on, put on our new mufflers, got all those mounted up. We put on our stretch fender. The only, th these things come uh, pre-drilled already. So you just run your seat bolt in the back and I've covered this a hundred times on some of my other videos in the, in the past, but all I use is these landscaping stakes. I drill a hole that uses the stud in the back of the fender and mount it up in there and then drill another hole that also goes through the rear fender and that's what holds it down like that. Um, I just happen to have these things laying around so I've been using them for years. And then I'll just cut off, drill two holes and then cut off the ends. Um, then of course our plasma rod tail lights will go right there. These cheap fenders to get them to line up with the bags, they, they always take just a little bit of trimming. Everyone's different. So I just mark these and I'll go ahead and trim those out a little bit before they go to paint. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's that's where we're at on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all this apart and we'll go ahead, get the bike outside, get the tank off. And that way then I can send the side covers and both fenders and tank to paint. And uh, then we'll start getting the front done. All 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and drop it down and get it outside. I've gone over this in my other videos, but what I always do is uh, put like little line crimpers on the other side and then there's no real good way to do this without making a mess but just cut off this clamp and try to hook up a hose and drain all, out this whole side and then I'll let off the line crimpers and drain out the other tank. And I didn't even check the fuel and I hope there's not that much fuel. start we got this dented up fork can the only way we can get it off is to drop out the fork tubes so I'm going to go ahead and start by getting off the front wheel and then we'll loosen up the uh, pinch bolts and the cap bolts up here too drop them out and then I kind of want to I'm going to be cheap I'm going to spray paint these uh, fork tubes instead of powder coating I've done it in the past with good luck and the bike's going to be black and we have a lot of chrome on here too I have chrome fork cans I just think it'll look good together That thing's all bent. We have a replacement. This is the proper tool for the fork nuts or the <laughs> the fork tube caps. It's already loose. All right, we're going back together with our front end now. I got these cowbells from uh, eBay. They're just cheap Chinese ones. They look pretty good. They're supposed to be black with a chrome insert, but this is what I got. So I'm just gonna run with it. take this clutch cable loose. Because it's gonna come out anyway to take off this bent um, fairing bracket.
ahead and stick our fork tubes up in here. All right, so usually I just wipe these things down and just spray paint them. Um, this time I took a little bit more time and sanded them down and then primed them and painted them and then went with a clear over that and it turned out the best that it's turned out before. It's, it's almost looks the same as powder coating, but uh, only cost five bucks. All right, we're gonna go ahead and slide in our other fork tube now. We're going to tighten up our pinch bolts. I'm going to go over that by hand too, just to double check that those are good and snug. We're going to go ahead and get our fairing brackets put in here now. On to the next side. All right, we've got to a good stopping point right now. We're kind of run out of parts at the moment. I got a stereo on order. I can go ahead and put that in. The outer fairing I can't put on until we get it outside because it won't fit through our door. Um, so just right now, just waiting on paint and the stereo, and that's pretty much it. Then we can put the rest of it together. And we are going to do another T-shirt giveaway. We've got these um, in long sleeve, short sleeve, black and white. Um, so what you guys need to do to help us get to 10,000 is Make sure you hit that subscribe button and then down below just let us know that you did it. We'll put everybody into a raffle and when we get to 10,000 we'll give a few of them away. We appreciate y'all watching our videos. Thank you.